All right, so cutting out air. So the problem with cutting out hair is there's no perfect way. Um, there's people that use the background eraser tool, um, selected mask can work. There's just a million different ways to use it. Now, all of them work. All of them work exactly, um, you know, but you always have to be able to go in and refine the image um, to get it to look really good. So uh, the trick with cutting hair out is knowing that you're gonna do it before you ever actually do it. So in this case, we have hair on a white background that makes it a whole lot easier. If we had this color hair on this color background, then it would be almost impossible to perfectly cut out the hair because you would always be getting the background color as well. Um, if you have a person like this with dark hair on a white background and wearing dark clothes, that even makes it easier because the hair is a darker color and it's easier to select. So we're gonna select this red hair here and we're gonna try to put it on a background color and actually get this to look pretty good. So the first thing um, that I do is Command-J just to always have a duplicate um, of my main layer. So um, the trick here is we want the greatest contrast from the hair here to the hair here. So you can go into your channels and obviously just click on it and you'll see that by using channels um, we can really darken up that red hair um, by selecting um, within that blue channel. But we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go up into image and go to calculations and bring up a panel that hasn't isn't used so much anymore. So uh, right now we have uh, all these selections here and we are going to change the channels because we know blue look the best to blue and we want to make sure multiply is selected here. So we can see that by doing that we really darkened up the image and it's going to make this process a little bit easier. So now we've created what's called an alpha channel. And so in the alpha channel um, is where we're going to make the selection from because we have naturally created a bunch of contrast. All right. You can also hit something like Command L in your alpha channel and increase your contrast even more. Now I'm going to zoom in here on the hair so you can see how this works. Right now we're not doing anything. And, and the hair looks pretty good. You don't want to go too far when you do this. And yeah, you see how the hair starts to break up and look fragmented. Um, we want to stay away from that. So we want to, of course, increase the contrast of the hair and increase our highlights, but we don't want it to start falling apart. Now this is very subjective and it takes a while to get used to where it should be. I'm not even totally positively where it should be on this one, but we are going to say right about there. So we will zoom out. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do here is make a selection. So I'm going to hold down the command key and I'm clicking on the alpha channel. So you can see it has made a selection. So what's good is if we now go back up to RGB in our main channel, it is keeping that selection. So we can see right here, it's kind of messed that up a little bit. And that's not going to be a big deal because we are going to click on a mask, but I want the inverse of what the mask is going to be. So I'm going to hold down option and click not being happy. Oop, that's because I'm on the wrong one. So option and click on the mask. And so you can see now we've created a mask on that white background of where that hair was. And that is what we want. So I'm going to hold down all option and click on my mask. Now we don't want any of this part in here to, um, be selected so we're gonna take that and make it white by just using a normal brush and we're gonna have to zoom in a little bit here and that I'm using control option on a Mac and I'm scrolling down up and down to harden the edge 
So when I do a harder line like that, I want a harder brush. So I don't know, we're around 80%. We'll try that and we're gonna make, we'll keep it big for right now. But then as we get in there, I probably will reduce it. Now when you're doing uh, small little things like this, it's all right if you miss up a little bit because you can always go back uh, with the opposite color here and fix it. So right here, I think I went a little bit too much. So that, that's good enough for now. So I'm going to hold down on the Alt Option key again and click on my mask up here and we can see we've got all that information back. All right. So, I mean, it looks like a good haircut out right now, but that is because uh, we have it on a white background. So the trick here to see is, well, how good is my mask really? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this layer below here and we are going to make a new layer and we will fill that layer so i'm hitting shift delete and we're going to hit color and we'll just pick a color maybe your eye color i can't tell what that was we'll try her skin color that can't be her skin color So let's do it again, shift delete, hit color, and we're going to do her skin color. Okay, that's better, 100%. All right, not the best color, but uh, we can. you can always click on that, hit command U, and then go in and easily switch that layer to whatever color layer you want. Be something like that. So we can see here that the problem is, is fringing and it's, this is, it's not new. It's always the problem and there's, it's almost impossible to get rid of in a, just a general selection. So the best way I've, I've seen to do or deal with this is to create a new layer above this and we're going to clip this layer. So you can clip one of two ways. You can hold down the alt key and you can see my, uh, it, I'm like at a hand, but when I get over the hand, I get that little symbol right there with the square box and the arrow down. I can click. I clicked once and I got, that's a clipping mask. So I'm hit Command Z. Or I can right click on the outside and hit Create Clipping Mask. All right, so with this new layer, we're going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to lower my opacity. We'll see if 68 works good. And we're going to take the Clone Stamp tool. And so what this is going to do, if I try to clone stamp out here, it's not going to do anything because that's not selected in this mask. But if I come out here, notice I'm just clone stamping that hair over the hair. And so what that's doing is filling in that fringing of the hair and making it look more natural. So anywhere I've got fringing, I'm just taking that color. And this is not something you can do like in two seconds. It, it takes a while. Um, and you just literally have to slowly and painlessly go through this image. Um, I'm trying to find hair that's sort of in that same direction. And I'm going back there and uh, I'm just clicking down. So you can see as we zoom out where we have hair up here that looks like it's cut out pretty good, but we have hair down here that's not cut out as well. And so you're just gonna slowly go through all of this hair and use that clone stamp tool to fill it in and until this area looks like this area. So hopefully that was helpful. You have a little idea of how to cut out hair 
And uh, if you have any comments or questions, suggestions on videos, or anything you want to let me know, you can leave those down in the comments below. And thanks for watching.